welcome back and uh, thank you for joining us small fish business coaches fb life and uh, yes kindly share out this stream so that everyone can watch and learn okay so last episode Coach Lake Hong went to visit Warren Tan, a web designer and entrepreneur. They basically talked to you about how to build a website that makes you money. That's interesting. Yes. Making money yes. with your website. Okay. Quick recap. Okay. Just quick recap. Uh, you want that when a visitor goes into your website, you're able to answer three questions. First question, what do you offer? Second, how can you make my life better? And three, what should I do next? So if you want to learn more, of course, watch the replay. So we are here for episode 5, I'm Nicholas, a professional MC and a presenter, also known as Selling Call, and of course this is... I'm Nick Hong, hi everybody! Yes, it is, the Small Fish Business Coach. Okay, now today we've got an interesting subject, actually a few days back, we were discussing about the topic to share uh, this time, and I actually got to uh, spark from one of your posts from oh. Small Fish Business Coach, yeah, prioritizing your business model over your branding, okay? Mm. This one actually reminded me about a lot of the experiences I had when I was uh, in leasing and with some of my friends who wanted to be entrepreneurs. The uh, questions or one of the self-debates that we always have is business model first or branding? Which one is more important? Okay. So what we feel is that yes, often people want to build a company that looks good, uh, it reflects their identity. All right? So when they start, they start thinking about the name, the brand, the color, the logo. Okay, as far as even what material must my uni my uniform be? Mm. Uh. <laughs> so this is very common for uh for entrepreneur or for any brand owner. Uh, people are really obsessed with uh their brand. All right, and of Agreed. course, uh, you will heard many people comment out there that you need to have branding. Branding is really important. Mm. And right now we are into the era of personal branding yes, and we, yes. you need to look good you need to look smart <laughs> how you dress what car you drive yes, do, you, do you comb your hair or what not no? I don't <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a, a very common uh, area yep. that uh, a lot of people look into correct right? but uh, I, w I would just say nothing wrong with it Okay. Mm, okay. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. I mean, you you should be looking good as well, la. Okay. But when you run a business, you need to be particularly careful. Uh, building a business model more important, or building a brand more important. Yes. All right. Especially when you have the money from venture capitals. Yes. You have okay. an investor that invest their money on you, mm -hmm. and you take this money and go ahead and build a brand that look impressive yes and uh, have a new office have a big office and whatnot uh, but if your business is not generating profits correct you are basically wasting investor money true true all right and this is what the dilemma is and a lot of people neglect the importance of having a profitable business model and yep. just make themselves look good. So we're gonna share with you some points today. Uh, how are you going to build a business model? Yes, I feel this is a good episode, especially for those who are thinking about entrepreneurship, mm. starting their own business. Okay, and a lot of people definitely may be asking, is this a good time to start a business? Well, if you want to say no, well, at some point you can start your business. So why not learn right now? And uh, then when you start your business, you are ready for it. Uh, to me, I would I would just comment that there is no good or bad time to start a business. I like that. Okay, right? there, there's no good. <laughs> Even though right now the economy may be a bit low. Yes, that's what a lot of people right? are saying also. And uh, you you do have people making money even though the economy is a bit low. Okay, agree, right? agree, agree. When the economy are tick top, yep, you still have business go bankrupt. True, right? True. So there okay. is no good, good time, good or, time bad or bad time. time. Bad yeah. time. It's just whether that you are doing the right thing at the right time. I like it. So in other words, you got to be prepared and yeah. you got to look at everything before you start entering. Okay. All right. So today we're going to share with you with a few points and how, what, what should you do and why it's important that you should focus building your business model over branding. Yes. All right. So number one thing is uh, whenever you start a business or you are building up your, your brand, the first thing you need to look into is to create a product that people want. Mm. Your customer want this product. 
don't create something that you shock the theory. Alright, they are very local phrase, but everyone right. understands. <laughs> and this is very common you, because a lot of time when we go ahead and create a product, it doesn't really whether it's an actual physical product or is a services. Mm, yes. Uh, we as the product owner, we are so obsessed with the idea. Correct. All right, we love the product. Is it's just like our baby? Yes, like you always mention. Oh, I have this baby. I'm sure the whole world will want this. Ah, whole one. Yeah. So this is your own perception. True. Uh, but whether do the market like your product and would they buy your product? Mm. That will be totally a mystery. Yeah, that's it's a different perception, correct? Right. So until you launch it. Right, so that is where a lot of time we can see that business owner are spending a lot of their resources, time, money, resources, network, effort, a lot of sleepless night. Yeah, try to create a perfect product. Yes, yes. All right, and they make sure all the ingredients are perfect, the packaging are yeah, beautiful, all, all every everything. single detail. Yes. Every single detail. If you're opening up uh, a retail outlet, oh, definitely. Uh, all right. Uh, you in, in the leasing industry, maybe you can share la, later. Yeah. Uh, that they will make sure they run a perfect place, yes. a premium place, spend a lot of money <laughs> on renovation. Yes, correct. And launch the product, but later only found out that uh, no business. Yeah, funny you would mention that because um, correct as uh, Coach mentioned, I was in leasing, but a lot of the times we have had people coming over that okay, I want to rent this place, but uh, we would sometimes just or not sometimes we would actually always ask them actually is there a reason why you're selecting this mall or this particular place. So we would be happy to hear answers like, oh, we, we did some research, uh, we found out about the demographics around here, uh, we know about your targeted uh, customers, then we're happy about that. But a lot of times we get answers like, oh, I'm uh, picking this place because another mall, another high grade mall, uh, they didn't have any place for us. So my product, I believe, must be in a very high grade premium, or premium kind of mall. So that's why you tell me how much you want. Oh, okay. And even sometimes they don't even negoci negotiate further. They will say, okay, that price, I want this spot. I'm going to pay a deposit. I'm coming in. So it's good for me when I'm in leasing. But yeah. on the other perspective, I'm thinking, are you sure mm -hmm. that you want to go in? Mm -hmm. So I, I agree with that. Sometimes they are very obsessed with, I have this product, but this product belongs in a very nice place to sell to the customers. So I must not go to anywhere uh, chin mm -hmm. I must look at this, okay, this is a premium great place. This fits my product, I want to come in here. But it's three year lease, mm -hmm. we will notice, some of them, not all of them, but some of them, after one, one and a half years, or even two years, they will start to struggle, mm -hmm. they will start to show signs that they need help, and they will start coming to ask whether they can have a rebate, or the saddest part, if they can early terminate the tenancy. Mm -hmm. So this is where you really want to go ahead to do your own homework and research uh, Keyword uh, homework. before you eventually develop product. Yes. So uh, leasing is where you decide to rent a place yeah. to sell your product. That's only one part. Uh, that's only one part. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I, I also met business owner that they, they want to OEM their own product. Yes, OEM. Uh, right? So I, I, I want to go into cosmetic line example. Yes. Right, so I will look for the uh, factory, OEM factory, mm -hmm. to do my own branding of cosmetic. True. Right? True. So I will be very particular in the ingredient, in the packaging, yes. uh, in the brand story, uh, uh, so <laughs> yeah. far, right? Then I, because when you go for OEM or factory, they will have minimum order. Yes. All right. So one batch production must be a certain like 5,000 unit or how many unit. Right. So, so you, that is a big investment. Yes. All right. And not only that, you have to also invest into the uh, packaging design. Yes. Yes. You, you also have a certain MOQ. Even like you mentioned the personal branding story. I know for a fact that uh, some people pay a lot of money mm -hmm. to get their own special personal branding story. Yeah. So that is when you go for OEM, that is only one SKU. Yes. Right? <laughs> only one SKU. But if you go into cosmetic, you may That's have easy, lot, easily yeah. 10, 20 SKU to launch. Different colors, right? different grade, different yeah, product, Big bottles, small bottles, bottle, right? Exactly. All, this, all this kind of thing. 
So you just imagine if you will have different SKU, each SKU require you a minimum order of 5,000 units. Yes. So you have 10 SKU. That would be like 50,000. 50, <laughs> so meaning that you have already spent, invested mm -hmm. 50,000 unit worth of value of money. Correct. On product that you have not even sell one piece yet. True. You already put in that money to produce that many products and SKUs first. Right. So, but the, the question, the challenging moment is you have, don't know whether you have actual confidence mm -hmm. that you really sell. True. All right. True. Or you have the guts that it will sell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will it's, sell. Two, it's two different things. Uh -huh. Yeah. You produce what you feel that people are going to buy mm -hmm. versus when you place it out there, are people really going to buy? Yeah. So that is totally a two things. Uh. So what we suggest, uh, how can you look into creating a product that uh, people want? Mm -hmm. I, I learned this from a book called Lean Startup. You can go to uh, uh, any uh, bookstore to find this book called Lean Startup. It's a, it's a really wonderful book that he suggested how when you create a product, he, uh, the author suggests that why don't you create an MVP? What's MVP? Mm -hmm. Minimum viable product. Uh, minimum viable product meaning that you don't go ahead and create a complete product. Oh, all right. For example, you spend the uh, five thousand SKU yeah. per SKU, create a complete product. Okay, and sell. Oh, he he suggested that create something so minimum. Understood. Meaning, meaning, for example, can you create even though you before you engage a factory? Okay. Can you just DIY at home with your own formula? I can see. you sell for like 10 20 units yeah, 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 slowly yeah, yeah. grow your production until you have you are confident that when you produce 5000 unit okay. one go yeah uh, then you you have the market first then only you do the product so good title lean, lean start up so you, you start lean first you start lean okay. first even to the extent that maybe you want to try making it yourself and then just selling it first S something simple yeah just something simple to see how the market reacts. respond Re respond, uh, respond okay. and react to it and because a lot of time when you when we launch our product we are so obsessed with it mm -hmm. then only when we sell to the market mm -hmm. only we realize hey the market actually don't want red color la. the the market want Pink instead of red. But I already have so many. Uh, but you have so many <laughs> red, uh, and then you you are in deep trouble. All right. I see so, what you mean. So, but if you have only fifty units. Okay. All right. Uh, so even though you can't sell, but yeah, it's only it's, that 50, it's really 50, units. 50 unit compared to right. five thousand unit. Yep. And and if it does sell, then you know what the market what what was. color sell, what color sell, what I size sell. Yeah. So if you change the ingredient. Which be, be, because you have not invested all your resources. I see. Okay. Right? okay. So you still have time, money, the the, the energy yeah, to yeah, play yeah. around, to, to twist. You know, that's a, that's a, that's to, a to, to respond to market feedback. Understand. So instead of like I, I like this is that I have friends also, some of them they are into designing their own t-shirts. So some would design straight away 10 t-shirts, each t-shirt with like three colors, mm -hmm. but then not all of them sell. Mm. And I have others who they start, I have only uh, two types of t-shirts and uh, each t-shirt only have two colors, black or white. Mm. Then from there, he notices that maybe t-shirt A sells a lot. Yep. He will create more in that style. T-shirt B not doing that well. After selling that batch, he stops yep. and he comes up with another new yep. one. And then he grows. I Slowly see. you grow. So this is a good, area for you to go into is okay. to create a product that people want mm -hmm. do it with the minimum viable product so if you want detail you can just go ahead to refer this book called link startup, link startup. okay all right okay. l-e-a-n startup link startup okay and that you can get more idea from the author it is a fantastic book for anyone who are developing product okay or like you out there who wants to be entrepreneurs like coach say there's not per se a good or bad time to go into the market well, if you've prepared right and if you test the market correctly, uh, why not? Yeah. yeah. And this is a book to guide you. All okay. right. So that's point number one. All right. Uh, point number two, after you have the product Correct. and you know that the market is accepting your product, mm -hmm. uh, then very importantly is to build a business model surrounding that product. Uh, that's the key phrase, business model. I still have people who ask, coach, uh, when you talk about branding, I understand. Mm. But when you talk about business model, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Simple term of business model is how are you going to operate your business 
that generate a profit. Ha, okay. <laughs> right. So inside business model, there are a few area that you want to look into, including who are your primary target audience, uh-huh. who is your customer. You must have that in mind. You don't want to market to everybody. Pao kaliao ah, everybody also my customer. Uh, this one will kill you faster lah. <laughs> You die faster, right? So number one, you need to be clear on who are your target audience. Okay. You also need to understand uh, what what's your value proposition. Okay. What your what what problem do you solve? Yes. Right? Why people want to buy your product, and the distribution channel. How do you sell your product, and what money you want to make? Mm-hmm. Important. Right? <laughs> you want to make money by selling the product. Making uh the 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 cost price and the selling price making the difference. Correct. You can also sometimes in certain business model you can rent a product instead of selling it. Ah, true, true. Right. Yes. You can make money through different means. Uh, they are there are many method, but what I want to stress over here is when you run the business, okay, you need to look into your profit margin. Yes. Right. This is sometimes a lot of business owner neglected. True. Sure. Right, they have no idea what is profit margin, or they know what is profit, but they misunderstand. They think that's it. Yeah. So one of the very important things is when you work with an accountant, if you have an accountant, mm-hmm. even though you, even though you are you are, you are a solo partner, you don't have an accountant, but you need to understand the cost structure, how yeah. costs work. All right. So when you uh, build a product, definitely you have a product cost. True. Sure. All right. So the the let's say you OEM a product, or uh, one unit is how much the packaging, how much on top of it. Yeah. So that is the product cost. Uh, what, uh, you need to understand is, the cost of the product versus the selling price. Mm-hmm. How much margin are you making? Okay. So that is critical. Uh. Yep. All right. The second part of your costing is on your fixed cost, and that is what kills a lot of businesses. Yes, especially during this MCO. Mm. All right, business not moving, things are not selling. Yes, but your fixed costs go every month. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what are fixed costs mm. that kills a lot of business? Number one, rental. Rental. Okay. So what what Lee mentioned just now, yes. you go into My expensive industry. mall, <laughs> and the rental is very high every month. Every yeah. month you have to pay rental every month. Uh, if your business. It's okay, then fine. Yeah, fine, uh, of course. Fine, uh. mm. Second one uh, is salary. Oh, yes, staff, your, your salary, correct, correct. Yeah. You still have to pay your workers. Yeah. yeah. So, of course, you, you don't want to be a mean boss that you fire people because you don't have business. Of course. <laughs> All right. But you still have to pay. All right. Pay the salary, pay EPA, pay SOXO, and whatnot. All, the, all, all this kind of thing. So, this will be your two primary fixed costs. Yes. Yes. Right, other fixed costs like electricity, internet bill, and right. whatnot, but that's not primary. La. Yeah, this but, tool it will be your primary. But it's a good example from coach of what are fixed costs and that you should take note because he's right. A lot of the times, like maybe young entrepreneurs or those doing business, to them, profit just means I bought, like, say, retail, la. I bought item A at 10 ringgit. I sell at 15 ringgit. Yay, I, I make a profit five, of 5 ringgit. ringgit. Yeah, yeah, usually it's that, that thing. But then later on, when you start to think, hey, but I rented this place for, for five thousand per month. Mm. I have uh, me no salary, never mind. I have two employees that I'm uh, paying minimum wage. Let's say one thousand two hundred mm. per okay. month. So it's two thousand four already. Those come into play. Yep. So suddenly your five ringgit profit is not that high. <laughs> All right. So you have to consider like if you are making five ringgit per profit, mm-hmm. then you have a fixed cost of five thousand ringgit rental plus another two thousand four salary. Yeah. So meaning that your monthly fixed cost come up to seven thousand four. Correct. All right. Correct. So if you are making a product of five ringgit per profit, uh-huh. how many do you, you need? have to sell? You have to sell to, to cover, cover seven thousand four hundred ringgit. And it's just cover only, mm. you know. You're not making money yet. <laughs> Correct. You cannot pay yourself yet. <laughs> yeah, right? So you have to make sure you have enough margin yes. to cover all the fixed costs. So that's why margin is important, right? Yeah. To cover the fixed costs. First. Yes. And then you can pay yourself. Correct. So don't be too happy. <laughs> but yeah, it's a hard truth, but it is uh, it is quite true because 
I've met a lot of people, including myself, I must be honest that I come from an accounting background, but in the beginning when I was retail, most of the time you get too happy with the profit that you're earning from selling something. Mm -hmm. Then you go, oh yes, I'm, I earn so much already, let's celebrate. Mm -hmm. But then maybe it will take you some time to realize when business is good, you don't realize much. Yeah. But then when business slows, slows down, you start to realize, I didn't sell that much this month, but I still have to pay my rental, yep. my salary. Then you start to realize that, hey, the profit that I made in the past, or maybe it's not that much, you know. Yeah. Uh. So because, uh, especially during this moment, uh, uh, the MCO, uh, the economy is is uh, uh, is struggling, everybody yeah. is struggling. So sometimes if you don't make enough this month, you have to use your last month profit to cover this yes. month and next month. Yes. All right, so you have to, this is something that you need to be careful. Okay, and this is part of business model. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is part of business model. All right, and you have to make sure you do make enough money. True, All true. Right? On top of that, you need to have a complete marketing plan. Ah, yes, this is what uh, Coach Lake Hong always encourages people. Not just a marketing plan, a complete one. A complete one. In, what is inside a, a marketing plan? Because a lot of people have the confusion of, if I do marketing plan, mm -hmm. if I ask you because what what should if I say I have a marketing plan, what is a normal perception? Yeah, normally even before I met coach, to me marketing plan is uh simply advertising mm -hmm. Uh usually it will just include most of the people, including me in the past, would be uh, what product do I have, how much, mm -hmm. how you can get it. That's it. Uh, <laughs> or you may have a budget to uh, advertise on yeah, Facebook or exactly, whatever yeah. means. That usually I will I will design something that okay you can get me at how much and then oh uh, Facebook is uh, cheap to advertise okay I will put all my money in that and I'll just advertise that all right or you uh, go ahead and design a poster and blast poster exactly out. yes all right uh, marketing plan I will suggest that you want to look into two things at least at least all right number one is your marketing message the message right. message is really important you want to create a message number one it is easy to understand okay it is so simple is clear yes all right and people look at your message they immediately understand uh, what you're trying to say all right so your message must include two very important points number one what problem do you help me solve yeah <laughs> right and number two if i buy your product how are your product going to make my life better yes all right so this is simple message that you need to include uh, inside your marketing then only you select the marketing tools to distribute your ah, message. To distribute the message. So, so when, message first. Yes. So whether you are using uh, Facebook, Instagram, or uh, traditional newspaper, uh, flyer, whatever, uh -huh. that is the tools. Yep. That, that's the tool. But before that, you, what kind of message you want to tell people? Yeah. Mm. So and who do you specifically market to? Oh yes, yes, yes. Because you just now mentioned that not everyone is your customer. Correct. You don't bounce about high. Yeah, you yeah. don't bounce about high. <laughs> So you need to understand uh, the marketing tools is not the most important thing. True. So right now, uh, because MCO, because of this COVID-19, everybody is going live. Yeah. So live become the trend. Correct. All right. But before you go live, you need to be prepared. What is the message when yes. going live? What is yes. your expectation? What is your objective going live? And that you need to be clear before you select to go live. Correct. Because live is also like you said, it's a tool. Yeah. Yeah. So what is your message that you want to present? during your life, which again is a tool. So one thing consists about uh, Coach Lake Hong and the Small Fish Business Coach in the complete marketing plan, the important part is actually the message. Yeah. Okay, who you want to target, that's one thing. And then the message, I would say in my own opinion is that in the past, people would think message means what I have, how much is it, how we can order. A lot of us think that that's the message. But the, the more important message is actually like you say, what problems you may have that I can solve and then after you use my product or my service, how's it going to make your life better? Okay. Then only the third part, which is how are you going to get the product? All right. Yeah. So very importantly, when you when you write your message, you have to think uh, in the perspective of not about ourselves. Ah. Because no one really care about how good we are. Additional tip, guys. All right. <laughs> this this is really true. This is a lot of uh, a lot of branding dilemma. Yeah that a lot of brand, uh, the mistake a lot of brand does, you know. Uh, the shops and delete. Shops and delete. <laughs> because uh, if I'm going to tell you, I started my business back in 1980s. 
we are 40 years old. Oh yeah, a lot of times I, I read that. Yeah. Right? So when you read from company profile or their uh, introduction yeah. website or whatnot, they will tell you that we started our company how many years ago. We True. have X many years experience. We won X awards. Yes. We are so great, so great, so great, so <laughs> top, from so, so king. <laughs> yeah. All these things. Most of the time, yeah. Right? Uh, but seriously, as a consumer, as a customer, mm-hmm. do you really care? I like that. Coach asked me before when I first met him, so do you know about the uh, story of Starbucks? I don't know, I only need to drink the coffee, I don't know. <laughs> I mean seriously, uh, yeah. do you study the history of a, a particular brand, like yeah. Nike, Starbucks, or all these big brands? Do you, do you know the history? Yeah, I mean if you're really interested, you're a super fan, then maybe. Yeah. But like Coach asked me last time, hey Nick, you like drinking Starbucks? Yeah, I like Starbucks. So do you know how they started? What's the story? I don't know why. Who's the like, founder? Yeah, I just love the coffee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the point here is no one really cares about how Tokong you are True. as long as your product solves my problem. Correct, correct. All right, I have a desire to drink good coffee, yeah. then I think of Starbucks. Yeah, that's, the, that's the point right. also. Yeah. I want to go to Starbucks just because I want to meet my friend there and Starbucks. Correct. You provide a good environment, you provide good, exactly. uh, good Wi-Fi, all yeah. these things. That's how they market to us yes. when they first step foot in, in Penang. Also, yeah. I would say, yeah, and, and like, uh, okay, if you buy coffee from us, we're going to reward you. Uh, uh, that's the important message. Yeah. So that's why I kept coming back. But when coach suddenly asked me, uh, hey, Nick, you know or not, how they started uh, from, from where I know, uh, Seattle, USA, mm-hmm. that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but this is true. But this is when you, when we local people or or, or local brand mm-hmm. try to do personal branding, mm. we keep on tell our customer how to we are about us. Yes. All right. But in actual fact, you think carefully. Yeah. Do you think your customer can? They don't. No. Mm. If you change your perspective a yeah. bit, like just now in the beginning, you mentioned it should be when you're writing, crafting the message is what we can give to them yeah you should be customer focused mm, about you not about me mm, not about like this all right you so, centric. okay so this is something that important so this is step number two mm-hmm. build a business model that make you money yes all right then only once your business is making money is making profit then only come to step number three reinvest your profit into the branding yes. now only we talk about branding correct it's when you make money. Correct. So it's not that coach is asking you, don't think about branding. Branding is not important. Yes, branding it's is important. Nice. It's important. It's important. Nice logo is important. Everything is important. But, but making money is more <laughs> important. Yes, make money first. Uh. All right. Because uh, let's just use back the example of the big brand. Just like Nike, Apple, yes. Starbucks. All right. If you look back into their early days, uh, these three companies today, they are super cool. Oh, I like that, yeah. yeah. True. Super cool, super sexy, yeah. you know, fantastic. Oh, the advertising campaign. Wow. All right. But if you look back at the, just like Nike, yeah, you look back at their first logo, Apple, first logo of mm-hmm. Apple, and the first logo of Starbucks. I believe mm. that it doesn't look that cool, right? Because it's, it's, not, yeah. it's a pretty old logo. Correct, correct, correct. All right. But, Apple, Starbucks, Nike do not start their brand with branding. They started with good products. That's true. I know about McDonald's, correct? When they started, their product was like, I want to give you food that is uh, fast and mm. fill up your stomach at yeah. a very good price. Yep. Yeah. So if you if you look at Nike, Nike uh, starts by selling running shoes true. in the 60s, 70s. They sell very good running shoes uh, in a very good price, very mm. good quality shoes. So when Nike built the, the brand built up, uh, they yeah. invest in back their profit. Yeah, once they had the money. When yeah. they have the money, <laughs> correct? Same with Apple. Yeah. Apple sell uh, Apple II, the first personal computer. Yeah. Yes, yes. And it was a hit. Correct. And then Apple grow. Yes. All right. Same with Starbucks. Right? Starbucks eventually changed the coffee culture in America. True. True. All right. So over the many years, mm-hmm. they, they, they make billions and billions and then they reinvest the money in the in, branding. into yeah. branding and they are so sexy today. So it's, it's not to say that they started immediately with the cool logo no. that we see today no. or the cool uniforms. Yes. No, right. They, they no. also started like what you mentioned, they wanted to make money first. Yep. And that's also why they lasted until today actually. Yep. So if you look at uh, brand, the, the big brand, the reliable brand, yeah. All those brands are making money. True. 
and uh, they last until today because they are making money, money. not because their logo is cool uh, so, not because they are cool so so be be really careful when mm-hmm. you work on your branding don't go don't get overwhelmed yeah. uh, by uh let we have start the business i need to look cool or all, all, all these yes, things yes, yes, but yes. if you don't have a, a, a business that is making money uh-huh. even though you have early investor that invested with on, on you right? yeah th- this is the this is the thing that 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 i i just remember you know um a lot of people say that i do have friends uh, but they, they've started their business and what surprised me was like wow i don't remember you i know you have capital but i don't remember you having so much capital to start your business and immediately you're starting with a bank mm-hmm. but t- to me their reply was that uh they have like capital venture they have people who are you interested in there yeah and they invested a lot of money in them and what i don't understand is that from the investment they've already started with a big logo and branding mm. and, and, and marketing campaign a good retail shop exactly um, yes even like i said you know uh this guy was selling like something related to health mm-hmm. products and services so he's gone as far as creating a, a very special logo spent thousand on it story i know also because i was involved in the copywriting okay <laughs> And uh, he didn't mind about the price, even to the fact that he needed his uh, employees to have the best uniform possible. Mm-hmm. It needs to be like so nice. I think it was silk or something like that. Okay. And each of them was given three. But the thing is, uh, after I guess one and a half years, you start to see that it's gone quiet and he's uh, moved and scaled down his uh, shop instead. All right. So it's just like, okay, more fresh. Huh? Exactly, but like I said, uh, I mean, they got they they say got got money, my investor money, 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 money. But but you basically you are if you if you are not making money for your investor, mm-hmm. typically you are just wasting money. True yeah. also, true also. That's why there's also this thought that um, well, you can still invest. Uh, people will still want to invest in me mm-hmm. because my aim. I told them already. I want to aim for IPO. Mm. All right, <laughs> but but my point is very simple la. Uh, if you are an investor, uh-huh. and if I want to put in my hard-earned cash to invest in a company or uh-huh. in, to buy a company share, would you want to buy a company share that is not making money? Very good question. Because basically, I invest. Why do I invest? I invest because I want return. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, do you want to invest your money into a company that the account is red in color? <laughs> Understood. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, that's a very it, even it, though even though you may have a very advanced, very creative business idea. Yes, yeah, something maybe nobody has uh, yet. Nobody yeah. has yes. Uh, yeah. you, you are so creative, but in the end of the day, what investor want? It's yes, it's it's very simple, ma. It's 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 simple mathematics, but those are facts. Yeah. I want to invest in you because uh, I want to see, not to say I believe in you, I believe in you is one thing, but yep. I ultimately want to see my money grow. Yeah. All right. So not because that I invest in you and you go and simply spend my money by <laughs> well, I mean, renting a big office, True. hiring a lot of people, make nice uniform, buy 10 computers. Ah, yeah. All right. And, but uh, you're not making money and you don't have a marketing plan to help you make money and you have no clue what is your costing like? What is your break even point Correct. like? Right? And but I look cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Definitely cool. I, I look yeah, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even my, my name card is very attractive. Ah, I know. No, some yeah. people name card is very yang one, uh, uh, no? uh, but you don't make money. Yeah, I mean in the beginning maybe maybe you are you are able to convince people to invest in you, but then after some time after some time and short term, then mm. it's like I don't see my money coming back, losing money, yeah. then that's it. And uh, you don't want to end up to become a money scheme. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Exactly. Because again, if you go back to the other brands that we just mentioned, they also started small. small. Yeah. People invested in them, but not a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact is they built up and then they... They make money. They make money first. And they attract more investors. Yes. Then they make more money. Actually, that's even better. I, I start off small, never mind. Mm-hmm. La. I gain more people to believe in me. I yeah. got the results to show. And yeah. It's every time black wall. Yeah. Uh, then I get more people coming in. Yeah, right. So this is how you grow your business. So uh, just do a quick recap. Mm-hmm. There's three things you need to be really careful. Yes. When uh, Why I would suggest building a profitable business model is more important than the branding. Yes. All right. Number one, 
build a product that help your customers solve their problem. Correct. Number one. Number two, build a profitable business model that make you money. Mm. Then only use your profit to invest in branding. Correct. All right. So that is our simple message for today. Yep. And then of course, uh, remember, coach uh, recommended if you want a book to read, mm-hmm. Lean Startup is Lean actually Startup a good is a book. very good book. Okay, especially for those who want to become entrepreneurs or who have been waiting to start their own business but don't know how. Okay, and uh, of course, uh, I mean, there's no rush for you to start your business. Yeah. But and and there's no, I like the uh, the, the starting message. There's no wrong or right time. Yeah. But you just need to be more patient and then do your homework. Do your homework. Yeah, sure. homework is very important. So while you're watching this, guys, if you have any questions, always feel free to drop it into the comment, comment box. box yes. Okay, we will reply you ASAP. Okay, and of course, uh, check out the Small Fish Business Coach uh, shop. All right, we've got books. Uh, there's also some fun flashcards I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll talk about that one of the episode. That's actually very cool. I wanted to ask her about that. Okay, but basically, if you feel all those who already have a business out there, you want to improve your business. Okay, or if you want to improve your marketing plan, like Coach said, complete marketing plan. Yep. What is that? So yeah, simply hit us up. Yeah, yeah. Just PM us. We will reply you, or you can uh, arrange a free consultation call. Ah, okay, with me. so that they can talk more. Yeah, about. talk. I will talk with you. All right. All right. So we're looking forward to the next episode. All and right. also, again, uh, we started our episodes talking about FB Live going live. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, we transitioned to uh, sharing with you more ideas on how to make your business more profitable. Correct. Okay, and how to make your marketing plan more complete and effective. Yep. So if you have any topics that you want us to cover mm-hmm. in terms of, yeah, in terms of uh, marketing, in terms of business, just tell us. All right. right. We'll work in one of the days, one of the episodes for your topic. Alright, okay. So see you. Bye All bye. Right. Bye bye. Alright.